Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko says all Russian forces must withdraw from Ukraine. While there has been a lull in fighting since mid-August, Poroshenko said key aspects of the Minsk peace deals were yet to be implemented. Now it's a high time to discuss the possibility to deploy an operation in the Donbas to support due implementation of the Minsk agreement. It can help us to achieve two key objectives for restoring peace in Donetsk and Lugansk region. Full withdrawal of the occupation forces of the Russian forces from Ukrainian territory and close Ukrainian-Russian border. Last week, Poroshenko warned that Russia remained poised for attack with tens of thousands of troops along the border as well as thousands within Ukraine. No one single Russian soldier, no one single Russian tank returned back to Russia, unfortunately. Our intelligence sources, together with our uh, satellite intelligence, supported and confirmed by our NATO, but our, our transatlantic partners, confirm that the, we have a place and site where the observers and monitors from the special monitoring mission of the OEC is simply not allowed to enter. Poroshenko said he was aware of the large new Russian army base being built along the border with Ukraine, which a Reuters reporter this week claimed was already under construction. We know exactly where it's situated. Russian tanks, Russian artillery, Russian multi-rocket launch system and Russian missiles. And even more important, the Russian soldiers. They simply stop shooting. The Ukrainian leader also slammed Russia's ongoing occupation of Crimea, which he said has become a base of military operations of Russia in its efforts to further destabilize the situation in the Black Sea and the Mediterranean in its global confrontation with the West. About 8,000 people are estimated to have been killed and thousands wounded since Russia invaded Ukraine, according to UN Human Rights Office figures.